It is Friday, and that means one of my favorite things to do here in the office, the often imitated, never duplicated Atlas MedStaff Five Question Friday. This week, I have kind of remote recruiter, but right, kind of. You're not that far from us here in Omaha. Right. So, Mandy Samance. Right. Did I pronounce that right? Simance. Simance. Simance, Samance. Okay. It all works. There we go. I okay. know who you're talking to. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say Mandy. Okay. Perfect. There we go. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Question number one tell me who Mandy is. Um, um, I'm Mandy. I grew up in Nebraska, um, went to nursing school in Kearney. Now I live in Lincoln. Um, I travel nursed for a while as a labor and delivery nurse, so I'm a nurse turned recruiter. Um, I am a fiance now. Um, Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. I am a dog mom. I, um, I don't know, I'm kind of boring. <laughs> Oh, that's not boring at all. <laughs> no, you were a labor and delivery nurse. Like, there's there's nothing boring about that. Yeah, it's, so. it's a fun job. All right, so that's question number two, quite honestly. When you were a travel nurse, prior to coming on here as a recruiter, mm -hmm. like, what is, if you could give one piece of advice to potentially new travelers sure. as, a, as a traveler, what would that be? Honestly, be open. Um, open to a location maybe you didn't want to go. Um, my very favorite assignment was in Minnesota and I was like, I don't want to go to Minnesota, but I loved it. Um, and then also like once you're there, be open to like putting yourself out to new opportunities and um, invite yourself out to breakfast after shift um, with the people that you're working with. Um, and just put yourself out there and get to know those people. Some of your closest relationships, some of my closest relationships were people that I met traveling. So. I, I believe I know the answer to this. So question yes. two A, was there ever a, pl a time when you like put yourself out there and it went bad? I mean, or were they very, were they generally accepting? Yes, very accepting. Um, I won't say that it was never awkward <laughs> because sometimes it is, but um, I never had anyone like, no, you can't come with us or, <laughs> or anything like that. Like people get out of here, traveler. Right. Yeah. People are typically um, open to letting you join in. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, question number three, your bucket list on the website, on, yes. in your bio lists, you want a hobby farm. Yes. What exactly is that? Um, well, for me, it would have chickens and honeybees and alpacas because oh. they're really cool. <laughs> um, Do they spit like camels? Or? Not as much, so yes, but oh. they're supposed to be nicer than like llamas and camels. Oh, okay. Um, they also have padded feet, like a puppy paw. It's not a hoof, which is interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, they just, yeah, I want I want some llamas and alpacas, I don't know. I think it'd be fun. Okay. I have no experience with them in real life, so right. maybe I would hate it, but. It might be. It's on the list. I, secretly, my wife wants donkeys, and okay. I, I don't know yeah. where we would put them, quite honestly. Yeah. So, there but, yeah. Well, they could come up at my hobby farm. Oh, sure, <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, question number four. Everyone has a guilty pleasure. Like, everyone knows mine is craft beer, right? What is your guilty pleasure? Um. I think I have two. One would be cookies and cream ice cream. Mm -hmm. I could eat the whole pint with no regrets. Um, I also, I think, could be a little bit of a slug if nobody, um, nobody made me get up off the couch <laughs> with, with my book or with Netflix on and snuggled up in a blanket. I could lay there all day and be super, super okay with that. That just sounds fun, quite yeah. honestly. <laughs> I, I would do that. that. That'd just be a good weekend. Yeah, there you go. So, awesome. Perfect. Okay, question number five, always the same. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? I have a big list of places I want to go. Awesome. Um, I would love to go to the pyramids. Um, super interested in like Bermuda Triangle, all of that legendary myth stuff. I'd you, like to go somewhere. You would disappear if you right, went there. I'd never so. come back. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, all of like the seven wonders of the world, I'd love to hit those up. Um, got a big list. Awesome. Yeah. I think that was the first multiple choice that we ever had. Just <laughs> choose one of these three right here. Yeah, there you go. Not the Bermuda Triangle, because I need you back here working, okay, obviously. Fair so fair there enough. we go. So, Mandy, thank you so much. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for coming to see us in yeah, Omaha. Absolutely. So, for those of you that don't know, Omaha and Lincoln are like 40 miles apart. Yeah. Like, it's not that far. No, so, she could come back here anytime, yeah. quite honestly. Uh, okay, keep this timeless. When did you start with us as a recruiter? 
as a recruiter, I started in August of 2021. Right, so what does that mean? That means she has time. So we're gonna put all of her information right down here. Let's say you, it, I understand not every recruiter has been a travel nurse. In this case, your recruiter has been a travel nurse. Yep. So if you want that extra level of kind of understanding, especially if you're an L&D nurse, <laughs> Mandy's here for you. I'm your girl. All right, Mandy, thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. All right, we'll see you next week.